Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. It's been a little while since I uh, did a video. Um, I haven't really been feeling all that uh, arty. I haven't really had too much mojo to be working in my studio. Uh, last a week ago on Thursday, I don't know, my weeks and days are all messed up. Let's say a week and a half ago, a very, very close uh, friend of our family passed away unexpectedly at the age of 57, just barely 57. It's been really hard to deal with, and I just haven't really felt like... Uh, I just haven't really felt like doing any art. But uh, I have spent a few evenings just making junk journals. And uh, these are what I call undressed because they're just books for me to start doing art in. There's no, uh, there's no fancy bits and tucks and pockets and lace and blah, blah, blah. They're just a mixture of different fun pages that I can... Uh, work in and do junk journal arting. So, i got a few different varieties here, and uh, the first thing I have is three children's readers. I'm just going to flip through these quickly because uh, I've got, got three of them here. And uh, this one I am sending to someone, so it has had ephemera put into it. So I'll show that one last. These two are basically the same. Um, I'm not going to flip through both of them because they use the same combination of pages and stuff, except that I did use pages from this book in this one, and I used actual pages from this book in this one. So let's look through this one, I guess. Um, this is a gin reader, gin basic reader under the apple tree. Uh, a first page is a pocket with a I got that glued in there, uh, a journaling card. And then throughout the three books, all the same sorts of papers are in it. This is a piece of correspondence course paper from the uh, 70s or 80s. This is from a braille book uh, from the reader. Some children's exercise paper, scrapbook, scrapbook from the reader, piece of a... Um, marker paper from a small journal from the book, uh, scrapbook from the book, this one's got a tab on it, scrapbook, and we're at the center of that, center of that uh, signature, and it ends with a pocket with a card in it. And the second signature, I believe they just have two signatures, yeah. So that gives me lots of room to make it nice and chunky and puffy and stuff. So the second signature has scrapbook paper. See, I've used bright, fun colors. Scrapbook paper, page from the book. Scrapbook, uh, this is children's elementary notebook from the book. This is uh, marker paper. Uh, this is, I guess it's rice paper. It's from Stationery Selection. They don't use this paper for their, uh, uh thank you notes anymore. Uh, from the book, the correspondence paper from the book. This is a paper bag, which I glued a little bit so it was a tuck. So, yeah, there is a tuck in this one. <laughs> Scrapbook paper, and here's the rest of the bag. So, it's got a insert there, put a couple of, uh, uh, bread things on there as a tag and it uh, basically just finishes up with the other sides of the paper. And this is some uh, cotton fabric that I used. I usually don't cover the insides because I like what's there. Like somebody wrote their phone number on there. And uh, so there's that one. This one is exactly the same. I'm not going to flip through the whole thing, but it's got uh, marker paper, pages from this particular book, scrapbook paper, the braille. Well, I guess I put a few little doodads in the corners of this, but not very much. Um, a paper bag, marker paper. Yeah, basically the same thing. And this one again, 
I used the uh, cotton fabric in there and I kept the end pages which are very nice and still in good condition. Okay, now I've got this one which um, I'm sending away to someone. This is, uh, I think this is a gin reader too, yeah. It's from a different series though than the basic readers. This is an integrated language program. And this is a reader that has Mr. Muggs, the dog. So what I do with an undressed book is that I take one of these books that just simply has pages, then on every other page I paperclip a piece of ephemera to the page so that uh, the person who receives the book uh, can decorate it and um, design it and whatever their own way, their own style to their heart's content and they have a bunch of ephemera to choose from which they can or cannot put in the book depending on how they feel. So um, this, page, this book is made up the same way, scrapbook paper, but I've attached a piece of uh, tissue paper there. Um, put a bingo card in the pocket. This marker paper again. This is a roll of uh, sticky tape that's a grid pattern. It's kind of like washi but it's the sticker backing. And then I have a piece of cardstock uh, map which was made into a box which I deconstructed. Uh, we've got some die cuts here from AliExpress. I used uh, wax linen to sew these together. Got some little flags. Mm, got some fancy paper from a box. Got a little Heidi Swap folder thingy in here. Uh, then we got a journaling card in a pocket. These are some handmade stickers that I made. I took existing stickers which I didn't like and I plopped paint all over them and stamps and there you go. Uh, some little pocket cards, pocket life cards, journaling cards. This is a piece of textured vellum, braille, um, a page out of uh, Beatrice Potter book, The Tale of Gloucester, Ta Gloucester? The Tailor of Gloucester. Uh, here we've got a very glittery uh, tag frame. I don't know what it's called. Uh, we've got some die cuts here, a unicorn and a moped. Uh, here's some pages out of a children's science book of butterflies. I've uh, got some word definition cards. Got a tag that I made out of some Tim Holtz uh, backing material got a coca-cola recipe card for making coca-cola chili and finally uh, another handmade tar tag that I made and this has got the cotton fabric in here and it's got the school stamps on this one so I like that. Uh, the next thing I did was a, I put together a uh, junk journal using the box lid from a clue game. I put uh, duct tape over the spine and I did a very wonky <laughs> beaded, beaded uh, stitching. Uh, I, I made a mistake. I mean, I always eyeball, so they're always a little wonky. But uh, I made a mistake and didn't go through my holes. <laughs> I went over here by mistake there and there and there. So this would have been straight if I'd followed my holes. So again, uh, this is some packaging from a uh, foiling kit, which I actually did do. Is it, is it here on my table? Let me check. Oh yeah, here we go. My sister sent me these little foiling things, and it's just like coloring, except you use a, you use a little knife thing to scratch off. And, uh, it turns out how, how, however you use the tool. So yeah, there's the the kitty one. I'll probably put that on the cover of something. I need to get some gloss medium though because uh, I need to coat it so it doesn't uh, get scratched. But I only have matte and that would take away the shine from the gold. So this is the package it came in and I used it for the covers of the signature. Here's uh, an envelope that I got. I cut it and folded the corners and oh my goodness. This will not stick. 
It's got double-sided tape on there, and every time I open it up, it's not sticking. I'm going to have to grab my stapler. Okay, and then this is some uh, Amazon journaling paper. Uh, the paper towel I used as a wipe off. Craft paper, craft paper, dilutions, backing. Uh, this is from the inside of a book jacket. Magazine page. The, then the uh, book jacket. This is the other side of everything the dilutions, the craft. And the back of the packaging for the signature. And then this was the other um, uh, etching or engraving thing that she sent me. So I did the little thing. As I said, it's just like coloring, but you use sketch marks. So that's the beginning of my signature. I got an envelope from National Geographic, tucked it over into a pocket, uh, craft paper, a paper bag, craft paper, paper towel, craft dilutions, back packaging from the inside of a book jacket, magazine page. That's my center. And then we just have the other sides of everything going down here with the pocket on that side and uh, this one I used uh, some fancy actually it's not duct tape it's actually packing tape so it was pretty cool then the next thing that I did was I made some uh, a5 inserts for a uh, for a and a five uh, traveler's notebook that I received uh, not too long ago. It was only five bucks, so I picked up uh, an A5 in um, in the uh, bright pink, and I picked up a B6 in the uh, lime green. So I'm not really showing you the traveler's notebook. I am showing you the inserts that I made. So there are. Two in here, and then I have this one. No, that doesn't fit because I have other inserts in here. I think. Oh, no, there's three in here. Here's the first one. I rounded the corners on this one, which I like to do, but all my pages aren't the same size, so it was really annoying, so I didn't do it on the other ones. So I used scrapbook paper for the covers. Insides are um, craft paper. This is from a really weird 3D coloring book my son got like about 10 years ago. This is some uh, cream colored packing paper. This is the instructions to some sort of electrical thing. Craft paper. This is a dust jacket. This is a liquor, liquor store bag. Craft paper craft paper. Okay, so this is the other side of the signatures. That's a really weird 3D coloring book. That, and then there we go. Okay, so this is number two. I'll just tell you if there's anything different. That, I think that came from an envelope magazine page. Uh, this is from a magazine. This is another uh, book jacket. This is from um, Happy Mail that I received. It was the envelope that it was in. Uh, Dilutions uh, packaging. Craft paper. Cream packing paper. Uh, this is the other side of it. So make sure there's no names on here. Okay, there's my address there. Well, and hers. <laughs> okay, so this is the envelope that she sent me. Then, this is the back of the uh, dust jacket, which is in really bad shape, but uh, I should have fun working on that. And this is all the other side. And one, where did I put it, that didn't make it into the book. I have scrap of paper, the cream packing paper, magazine, a weird 3D paper towel I wiped off on, dilutions, packaging, liquor store bag, uh, flow journal, magazine, envelope, 
It's made out of Tyvek. A um, piece of, I'm not sure what this is. I got it in Happy Mail. I think it's wrapping paper. It's quite thick and has texture. And then the other sides of them. This is what the other side of the uh, Flow Magazine envelope looks like. And uh, that magazine page had a crossword that I did on it. And uh, there we go. So made some inserts for my A5 and some uh, some junk journaling ones and uh, the other stuff. So that's what I've been working on while I haven't been in my in my arting mood lately. But I am starting to uh, feel feel the need to art. So um, I've got a couple of projects on the side here. Almost finished my big art journal, which well here I'll give you a sneak peek of it. The cover hasn't been done, but uh, this is a really big, I believe it's a 12 by 12, I, or it might be like 12 by 11, it's a little bit narrower. This was a baby album, which had a really thick, cardstock pages in it with vellum in between each page. I removed the vellum and since January of 2017 I have been working in this with uh, my big art journaling pages and I've got eight left so I'm working on those and uh, this a flip through of that will be coming up in the near future. So. That's all I have for you today, so take care, keep healthy, and I will see you the next time around. Bye!